Earlier this year, Congress passed the almost $800 billion economic stimulus bill in the wake of the fiscal crisis. Now the Garden State has its own answer to rebooting the economy, a plan to encourage real estate and commercial development through tax incentives. But opponents of the bill are just not buying it. Joining me right now, Sarah Stecker, who is a policy analyst for New Jersey Policy Perspective, and Michael McGinnis, who is the CEO of the New Jersey chapter of the National Association of Industrial and Office Properties. Welcome to you both. You. Now, what will this bill do to help developers and businesses here? Uh, th this bill is uh, a really good stimulus package that the uh, legislature has put together, which will provide a number of incentives for businesses to locate in nine targeted urban areas as well as some additional areas outside those cities in planning areas one and two and designated centers all of which means areas that the state of new jersey has calculated are uh, the best areas for development to take place what kind of incentives are we talking about there's a, several incentives. Uh, one uh, deals with urban transit hub tax credits, which provides up to 100% um, corporate business tax credit for businesses that locate within a half mile of a rail station. In Newark, it would be the city subway. Uh, in Camden, it's a mile from, from the uh, train station. Uh, there's another package called the uh, Economic Red Redevelopment Growth Grant, mm -hmm. which um, allows the state to provide a grant to businesses that can demonstrate that they have they are in need of gap financing in other words they did them they did the math and their project just won't work um, in, in, in an area that like Newark unless they get another say two million dollars mm -hmm. I want well, to say um you're against it. Go for it. Yeah. Um, in the, in the uh, what they call ERG, the Economic Growth Grants, um, we're going to be, New Jersey will be diverting more revenues than any other state at a time when we can least afford it. Um, the state and municipalities are, are, you know, damaging cuts. We've cut health insurance for working parents. We've cut after-school programs for poor children. We shouldn't be laying the groundwork now for a 20-year per-project giveaway. Um, to private developers. I mean, we're all for economic development in New Jersey, um, but this is a long-term giveaway. Money, uh, lots yeah. of money. Well, I, I, Sarah, I, I, um, I, I would disagree with you respectfully on, on one or two areas. Uh, first off, it's not necessarily a 20-year um, giveaway, as you said. Um, it, it stops as soon as the, that gap financing is satisfied. Which is one? It varies. Um, so it could be 20 years. It, it could be two years. Mm -hmm. It could be 18 months. It could be a lot less than 20. The big difference between ERG and what was in place, the Revenue Allocation District mm -hmm. RAD program, mm -hmm. is that RAD had a life of its own. It was there for 20 years regardless, and it was very cumbersome, and, and cities chose not to go through the process because it was very cumbersome. This one has more, I believe, has more steps involved to for the treasurer and EDA to uh, demonstrate that indeed the project would be, would be good for the community, good for the state, and secondarily there is in fact some financing gap which um, needs to be filled if that business or uh, if that business is to locate there in that desired area. Will this have any impact on taking away money from schools, hospitals? I'm afraid it will. Mm -hmm. um, the unlike um, our, unlike neighboring New York, <coughs> uh, New Jersey will not be shielding its school um, its school funding from uh, the tip. This is called tax increment financing across the country. In New Jersey, we're calling it ERG, um, because when new development comes in, the property tax values will go up, a good thing. But then that additional revenue won't go to the schools, to police protection, firefighters. It's going to go back to private developers. Up to 75% of that additional money, not mm -hmm. all of it, up to 75%. And, you know, um, educators have, have voiced opposition to this. Environmental groups have, vo have voiced opposition. E except that um, your initial statement isn't quite true because we're not taking away existing revenues from schools or whoever is in need of that money right now. This is a vacant parcel that sits in Elizabeth, Jersey City, Hoboken, wherever. It's contaminated. No one's going there. Um, what this program would do is it would identify how much money it would take. Maybe it's a couple million dollars. I don't know. 
for some business, um, a pharmaceutical company, somebody, to locate there. And then once it's up and running, uh, there's new tax revenues coming into the city. Uh, up until that point in time, it may be only two years, three years, the new taxes coming in that weren't there a year ago will be going to the developer for to pay for the capital, the infrastructure, the roads, et cetera. But as soon as that $2 million is satisfied, whatever the project is, the, the fee amount, then all 100% of the money goes to the town, Michael, to the if state. I'm, if I may. Please. Um, it's true that the additional revenue, the, that current revenue will not be taken away, but additional revenue that comes from the new right. development will be in part diverted. And that's a problem because you're going to have, um, let's say you put up an apartment building, let's say you put up an office building, people or a shopping mall, you're going to have students um, who need to go to the schools, so they'll be putting service demands on the schools without the matching revenue because that revenue has gone back to the private developers. And that's a problem because then that strains that strains our school system. Too much maybe to the private sector? Is that what you're saying? That's what I'm saying. Okay, thanks very much on that note. We'll end it there. Thank you to you both. Coming up next, gubernatorial candidate Chris Christie testifies before Congress. We'll tell you why and what it all means for the governor's race when New Jersey Now continues. We'll be coming right back.